Welcome to Infinity CAD. In this tutorial, we will design this simple motor shaft in SOLIDWORKS. So let's get started. So first of all, in this drawing you can see, we have given a front view, top view and right hand side view. In this front view, you can see, we have given two circles of radius 60mm and radius 50mm. And between these two circles, we have given this notch whose radius is of R 1.80 mm and there is one keyway of 12 mm and its distance from the center point is 20 mm which is over here okay and we have given these two circles of 52 diameter and 60 diameter which are extruded 160 mm and 90 mm so first of all we will start with our front view and we will sketch this profile and we will extrude it 50 mm so I open here a new part and in this I'm gonna select here front plane and you can see here there are four options in which you have to select a sketch. On this front plane I'm gonna select here one circle and let's draw these two circles like this. Right click and select. Then we have to give these dimensions. So select here smart dimension. We'll select this circle and just drag it over here and give you a dimension 120 mm diameter and uh, this circle diameter will be 100 mm next we have to select here a line like this from this circle to this here and like this we have to create one line okay and select smart dimension this distance we have to give from this line to this line. This distance is 20 mm. Now let's select this origin point and this center point of this line and make them vertical. Okay. Now let's select trim entities. By selecting power trim, I'm gonna trim this line, this line, and this line, and this portion. Okay. And then select OK. Now we have to create one notch of radius 1.80 mm so i'm gonna select here three point arc and select this point and this point over the circle and like this draw one arc okay next select smart dimension and give radius to this 1.80 mm okay now let's select the center point of the arc and this circle and give your relation coincident. Now let's zoom out it by pressing F. Select your center line and draw one center line like this. Right click, select. Now select mirror entities and select this arc. Then select this center line by selecting mirror about and OK. Now we have to circular pattern this sketch. So let's select here circular sketch pattern as a center point we'll select this origin point and entities to pattern we'll select this arc this line and same as it is this line and this arc and here we have to give number of entities to be 8 okay next select here okay now we have to trim this unwanted section so what we'll do is we'll select trim entities Select here power trim and trim this portion same as it is trim this like this trim this and this time Next, let's pin this inside line. So we have trimmed all of this inside as well as outside unwanted part. Now select here OK. I'll select here fully defined sketch and select calculate. So you can see our part is fully defined. Now select OK. Now let's go to features and select extruded boss face. 
select your reverse direction and give your distance to be 50 mm and select ok now let's select this space and select sketch on this space we have to create the circles first i will create these two circles like this right click select so select your smart dimension give this diameter to be 60 mm and this circle diameter will be 52 mm now go to features and select extruded boss base first of all we have to extrude this 60 diameter circle so i will select this both of these sections so that i have to select here contours and in this i will select this circle and as well as this portion so that this whole circle will be selected now give here length to be 160 mm ok now again select the sketch and select extruded boss face now in selected contours let's clear this selection and select this circle and this time i am gonna extrude it 160 plus 90 that means 250 mm so give your distance to be 250 mm ok or you can select here from surface and select by selecting this surface you can offset from this surface which you can which we have to give extrude of 90 mm okay you can use any way let's say i'm going to use this 90 mm and then select okay now i'm going to select this boss extrude again and I'll edit features by selecting this boss extrude I'll select direction 2 and in the direction 2 you can see we have to extrude this 60 diameter in this direction up to 80 plus 50 that means 130 mm okay so I'm gonna select here 130 mm okay as you can see it's extruded in this direction and then select ok now by pressing ctrl plus 7 you can see its isometric view and in this i'm gonna select this space and select sketch now select convert entities and this edge is converted now we will select a center rectangle from this point i'll draw one center rectangle like this smart dimension this distance is 12 mm and this height from the center point it is 20 mm right click select now select trim entities and trim this portion same as it is in this circle and then ok to make this part fully defined select smart dimension give this distance to be 12 mm as it is ok and give this this line distance from this point to be 6 mm ok now we will go to features and select extruded cut this distance to be 42 mm and then ok now we have to select this edge and select fillet this fillet should be 4 mm as it is and then select this edge also ok then select ok now we have to create another keyway like this which is 60 mm and radius is 8 mm and its distance from this line is 210 mm so I am gonna select here top plane and then select sketch you select one straight slot select this line like this and draw one straight slot like this ok now select smart dimension give this radius to be 8 mm and this distance to be 60 mm select this line and this point give this distance 
210 mm okay now let's go to features and select extruded cut select from surface and select this surface give here distance to be 10 mm and then select ok so this keyway is also ready now we have to give some chamfers ok at this age we have to give 1 mm chamfer same as it's same as it is to this age and 2 mm on this edge and this edge so first I'll select here chamfer give a distance or radius to be 2 mm and select this edge and this edge ok now, now I will select again chamfer and this time I'll select this edge give your distance to be 1 mm same as it is select all of these edges So you can see we have selected all of these edges then select your OK and our chamfers are done to this part now we have to select your fillet this time select this edge give this radius to be 2 mm and then OK We have to give chamfer to this edge also. So I'll select this chamfer, not this. So I'll select this chamfer that we have given to here of 1 mm and select this edit feature. And in this, I'm also selecting this edge and then OK. So our fillets and chamfers are also given to this part. Let's uh, select your plain white and let's give some appearance to this. I'll select your yellow color and then OK. So that's it. I hope you like this video. Please make sure to like, share and subscribe this video. Thanks for watching.